it's Casey of CaseySharperson.com, where I blog on life, faith, and confidence. Now, I have a very special topic to talk about today, and it's the war between expectations and reality. Now, what does that mean? Expectations are what we think are going to happen, what we fantasize is going to happen, and then reality is real life, what's actually happening. And sometimes what we think or what we anticipate or what we expect is vastly different than what is real and what is true and what is right now. So what's a practical example of this? I'm going to be very honest and very transparent because, you know, the word of the year is transparency. And I hope that you will not judge me for this next example that I'm going to give or this next story, if you will. Now, when I was in high school, actually all the way before college, pre-college, I grew up in some small towns. I grew up in Kansas and then I grew up in South Carolina. I Sometimes I claim South Carolina because I was there the longest, but you know, when you spend a lot of time someplace else, then you also claim that. So I have like two homes, okay? So I grew up in small places, not a ton of diversity, not a lot of change, right? So I didn't do a lot of dating, and I just said, you know what, here Bay does not live. Bay is not in Kansas, and Bay is not in this part of South Carolina. But let me tell you where I knew he was, okay? And for those of you who don't know who Bay is, Bay is like your boyfriend, your man, your whoever, okay? So I knew that Bay was not in high school. I knew that he was not where I was from, okay? But I knew, I knew, I knew that he was in college, okay? And it did not matter that I was going to a teeny tiny school <laughs> in a teeny tiny town, okay? That did not matter to me. I knew that he was there. Now, when I got to school, I realized that these statistics were true. There are way more women than men in school, okay? So that's probably a dream for a man, but for a woman, it's like, seriously, are we all gonna chase after the same one? What? So needless to say, I did not meet Bay in college, but what I did do was I did go to college. I did have a great time. I did set some goals and accomplish them. I did get a degree, which is what you're supposed to do when you go to college, right? But what I could have done is when I got to school said, okay, this is one of my things that's going to happen. This is going to be my goal. This is going to be real life. I'm going to leave here with my MRS degree. So this is going to be my sole focus. Every man that I meet, I'm going to be checking him out. I'm going to force this to work. And so what happens when we have expectations that are differing than the reality is that we can try to force something to happen. We can try to fit a square peg into a round hole. And that's what we don't want to do because that knocks off our focus on other things that are important in our lives. And so then we start chasing this one thing that may or may not be in reach while neglecting everything else in our lives or other things that have some fruit that need to be, uh, that need to be born, right? Or manifested or grown. So expectations ver versus realities or expectations warring against reality can really deter us from where we should be. Now, when you start to realize that what you thought is happening is different than what is actually happening, now you have a choice. Now you can say, you know what, I can own the season, I can own the situation, and I can be sure and be certain that whatever is happening in my life, that God is going to make it work out anyway, that everything is going to be good anyway. I'm not going to be able to miss, miss what needs to be happening in my life or you can focus on your expectations and try to force reality to match those expectations. Now, if you have good, positive, wholesome, grounded expectations, it doesn't mean that they're wrong if you don't see the fruit of them right now. It just might mean that now is not the time. So when you face a situation and you see that your expectation is different from your reality, my recommendation, something that I strive to do, is to own the moment, live in the moment, see what blessings are there for you in this season, see what you can learn from this season, and then maybe next time your expectations will meet reality. But don't put your life on hold just because your expectations are not manifesting themselves into reality. So you can go see me on caseysharperson.com. Leave a comment. You can go see some blogs there. You can follow me on social media at Casey Kyrie, and I'll see you next time. Bye.